right here in Taiwan for the home finale of the Formosa Dreamers right here in your ASEAN Basketball League season number eight. Second game of a back-to-back -back for them as they face the Singapore Slingers this afternoon at Chiang County Stadium. Tenth game of the season. Martin Avier with Marco, Marco Benitez breaking this game down for you guys. And a lot of fans coming out, of course. Uh, they want to see, for the last time at least here at home, the home squad play in front of the crowd. So Marco, interesting matchup here between the Formosa Dreamers and the Singapore Slingers. Singers uh, lost a tough game against the CLS Knights at home by 1.65-64. And Slingers, this is going to be a big game for them because they want to lock up that number five spot. Of course, they are battling it out with the Saigon Heat. Currently, the Slingers are at 10 and 8, Saigon Heat at 9 and 9. But as you mentioned, this is a very proud organization for most of the Dreamers. So they are looking for a win here in this final home game this season. And as, they, as it has been this entire season, the home crowd support has just been amazing and they deserve at least a victory in the in the perspective of the foremost of Dreamers. Now before we go through things for the pre-game, let's go to the team presentations and to our Coliseum announcer. Both 53 to 39 by the Singapore Slayers, and that is going to be one of the things that we are going to be looking at as as the keys to victory here. Dream to each other, but I think he has to continue to be aggressive. This guy and there, and Ronnie Aguilar, his second game back. He had a 2022 20, outing versus Malaysia, and averaging so far 18 and 19. Yeah. He's going to be key for them, obviously. So the Dreamers have a chance here if they will grind out, try to grind out the win here. They minimize their mistakes 
tried to pound the ball inside the paint to Aguilar and Cameron Forte. You know, the Dreamers, will, uh, the Singapore Slingers rather, will be playing without Delvin Go, Larry Liu, and Leon Quek because of national service. So, undermanned are the Slingers. So, this is a big opportunity here for the Dreamers to, to steal a victory against a playoff squad. And it is going to be a crucial matchup. This could be you know, their farewell gift to the fans who have supported them from mm -hmm. the first game of the season until this afternoon. Xavier Alexander by Chong Sun Kung Fu. Just four field goal attempts, although he shot three out of four, two out of two from long distance as we take a look at our veteran officiating crew. But Wu Song Wei will have to up his game and uh, really try to improvise, get better looks, try to create more possibly for himself and don't just hang back and rely on those kickouts because defenses have locked in and stayed stayed home on him to prevent them from getting those open looks. That is Chris Charles and team manager Michael Johnson on your screens alongside coach Neo Beng Xiang starting five the Singapore Slingers a bit different this afternoon because of Delvin Go serving national service he will be replaced by Russell Lowe in the starting five alongside Ang Han Bin, AJ Mantani Chris Charles and the X-Man Xavier Alexander and on the other side this is also the starting five starting unit for coach Shi Hao Cheng yesterday against Chong Sun Kung Fu going with uh, Yang Tian Yo, Chen Yuhan, Cheng Chi Quan, Cameron Forte and Roni Aguilar at the middle and as we have been uh, harping all season long this is a young dreamer squad who Try to stick to their game plan of pounding the ball inside to their main men in Ronnie Aguilar and Cameron Forte. And hopefully that will pay dividends for them tonight, or this afternoon. Now it's the key now for the Singapore Singers. Marco missing three key guys. Again, Larry Liu, Delvin Go, and Leon Quet all serving national service and actually saving up their 14 day leave come yeah. playoff time here in the ASEAN Basketball League. Well, What's the game plan here for the Slingers? I think for the Slingers, another thing is they have to minimize the turnovers as well. They have to dictate the pace. Dreamers will look to push the ball, get baskets in transition. Slingers have to take care of the basketball. They have to dominate inside. As you mentioned, they out-rebounded for most of 53 to 39, 25 to 10 in terms of the offensive glass. And of course, they have to play great interior defense. We know Chris Charles, former, uh, former MVP here, will play defense against Ronnie Aguilar, Xavier Alexander, I believe Russell Lowe will be matched up against Cameron Forte, so they have to stifle both Aguilar and Cameron Forte, whom we know love to produce inside the paint. All right, ball is up here, and you mentioned Marco dictating the tempo will be key here for the Singapore Stingers. Do you feel like they played to the pace of the CLS Knights in their previous game? Oh, yes, I feel they did because the Knights are, are a gritty type of team. They like to score in transition as well. As you see, this first basket coming from Ronnie Aguilar off a rebound and off a fast break. That is a type of game the Dreamers will try to play here against a more deliberate and more veteran St. Slinger squad. A good spirited start for the Formosa Dreamers. Chris Charles missing the jumper from the baseline. Here is Cameron Forte. He scored 33 points yesterday. Turns the ball over there. Oh, but a steal. By Chen Yuhan, step out of bounds. The ball will go back to the Slingers. And going back to that, the defensive possession for Ronnie Aguilar. Those are the shots you want Chris Charles to take because not only are they lower percentage shots, he's also not in the paint to try to get offensive rebounds. AJ Mandani inside, kicks it out. Ang Han Bin, deadly from three-point range. Rattles that one out. Well, that is the lesser of two evils. Ang Han Bin taking outside shots. Or Alexander and Chris Charles trying to score inside. Ronnie Aguilar hustling for the rebound here. Jump ball. So it's going to be Slingers basketball. That's great effort there from both Aguilar and uh, AJ Mandani. Quick early substitution here. Luo Jian Shan coming in for Yang Tianyo. Coach Su Hao Chen not happy 
with the way Yang has started out this game. With only a minute and 17 seconds gone in the game. Luo Jin Shen, of course, was steady off the bench yesterday, scored two points. So you have uh, Chen Chi Quan picking up Xavier Alexander to begin this game. Mandani gets the basketball, closely guarded by Luo Jin Shen. Russell Low. Eight seconds to shoot for the swingers. Low, banging bodies with Cameron Forte, and he gets the hook. And that's a good move there for Russell Low. If you can force Cameron Forte to exert a lot of effort on defense, that might take away some of his effort on the offensive end. Cameron Forte, the hop step, doesn't get the shot. And Forte fouled on the second attempt. That's his favorite side of the court. Attacking on his left because that left-handed sky hook of his is almost unstoppable. Cameron Forte, five out of eight from the free throw line yesterday. Very young, 24 years old from Portland State. A gifted scorer and he is showing us just that here in season number eight with five games in with the Formosa Dreamers averaging 32 and a half points and 18 and a half rebounds per contest. And Chen Chi Kwan almost with a steal on that inbound. Dreamers up by two. Approaching two minutes gone here. Full court press applied by the Dreamers. And Roy and AJ Mandani getting at it. Alexander. We gotta get it across. Alexander now guarded by Chen Chi Kwan. Great defense here by the Dreamers. Luo almost getting the steal. Mantani with a basketball. One second to shoot. And they do not get the shot off. Mantani should have taken that shot. Did not realize that there were less than five seconds on the shot clock. There was no time for Chris Charles to make a move and get all the way to the basket. That's the way. That's the way to set the tone here in this contest. A bucket. A defensive stop for the Formosa Dreamers, but they turn the ball over. Mandani on the break. Gets the contact from Luo Jin Shan and the bucket. And that's what we talked about. Two early turnovers here for the Dreamers. Cannot afford to make those types of mistakes against the Slingers. They're not a run, run and gun type of team, but they will make you pay once you commit turnovers. At 22 tur turnover points against the Dreamers last game. AJ Mandani at the free throw line. Mandani averaging nine points per game in his first season with the Singapore Swingers. Completes the three point play. And you know, the Swingers also had 19 turnover points against the CLS Knights, forcing them to about 17 turnovers in last Sunday's matchup. And here's the pressure now from the Slingers. Chris Charles with a rejection there. Aung Han Bin. Able to catch the pass, saves it to the wrong man, Cameron Forte, on the move, two on one, loses the basketball. Third turnover in the first two-time defensive player of the year in the ASEAN Basketball League, Aguilar, on the jumper. Second basket here for Ronnie Aguilar. Russell Lowe against Forte. Lowe with a nice move up and under. He is fouled. Two shots coming here for Russell Lowe. First personal on Forte. Another good move there for Russell Lowe. Got Cameron Forte up in the air. Could have possibly drawn a foul against Forte. But I like, I like this, the strategy of Coach Neil Beng Shang trying to attack and make Cameron Forte work inside the paint. A couple of substitutions here for the Dreamers. Li Cha Ching and Wu Xiong Wei checking in. That was the first personal foul on Cameron Forte. Oh, sorry, that was against number six of the Dreamers. So I think they gave it to Ronnie Aguilar. Very strangely here, Marco, Cameron Forte, sent to the bench by Coach Xiao Cheng. 
Full court pressure or half court trap. Delaying trap being employed by the Slingers. Luo setting it on top, double team, Aguilar. Six seconds to shoot for the white shirts. Aguilar off the spin with a left hand fouled inside. And you see Aguilar very effective once he goes to that move of his spinning to the middle. Time drawing the foul against Anhan Bin, if I'm not mistaken. Timeout on the floor, Singapore Slingers. Up by six points, 12 to six. Welcome back to our coverage here inside Changwa County Stadium. Home finale for the Formosa Dreamers. They are down by six points, 12 to six. The Singapore Slingers on a 12 to two run here in the first quarter. Ronnie Aguilar will take two shots. Aguilar scoring two baskets earlier, one throw down and one mid-range jumper. And very uncharacteristic of the Slingers, seven fast break points already. They have 10 points in the paint compared to just four for the Dreamers. And one of the keys we mentioned is Dreamers have to dominate the scoring inside the paint, especially with both Aguilar and Forte. Really like, uh, loving that uh, inside. Forte is changing, he is on the bench right now. Chris Charles off the fake. No good. And last touch on the Slingers. Good defense there coming from Ronnie Aguilar. A little bit of pressure on the Slingers. Five point advantage over halfway done here in our first quarter. Luo Jin Shen and the pressure continues here on top for the Singapore Slingers. Wu Sung Wei, nice fake. Tried to pass it to Ronnie Aguilar, but too many red shirts in the way. Uh, Wu had an open 10-footer uh, as he dribbled past Chris Charles. Nice help defense there coming from Alexander and the quick hands deflecting that pass to Ronnie Aguilar. Yang Tian Yeo back in the game. Luo Jin Shen will check out. Li Cha Ching drops it off to Chen. No good off the glass. Desmond Oh, who just Came to the ball game, grabs the rebound. Team captain of the Slingers. Alexander flips it up and flips it in. What a shot there for the X-Man. That's just upper body strength there coming from Xavier Alexander. Chen Yuhan was right in front of him all the way. Slingers back on top by seven. Aguilar from the free throw line, in and out this time. Aguilar was seven. And a foul by uh, Li Cha Ching. Getting too aggressive on Russell Lowe. So here comes Cameron Forte, Marco, replacing Li Cha Ching after serving two minutes on the bench. Just a quick breather there for Cameron Forte. Let's see if he comes out more aggressive in this latter portion of the first quarter. Cameron Forte hasn't made a basket. He's only taken two shots as Mantani nails the jumper. Tonight.
isolation. It's not bang screen. Go. Go, 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 go. Back to our coverage here at Marco yesterday, the Formosa Dreamers had only five turnovers all game long. And this afternoon, they have five in the first quarter. That is correct. And you know, the Chongsun Kung Fu is not a team that likes to force turnovers. They're not a team that likes to press. In contrast to the Slingers who are double teaming that ball screen, forcing Luo Jin Shin and Yang Tian Yo to really dribble out of it. Especially when Chris Charles or Xavier Alexander is the doubler, they really block the vision of the point guard of the Dreamers, making it difficult to pass out of the double team. So that has resulted in a couple of turnovers already for the Dreamers. And that is the name of the game for the Singapore Singers. They've been doing it for a long time. That's correct. And Coach Neo is a master of defensive schemes. They're not the type of team like a Hong Kong who will press you full court and force turnovers in the open floor. But at the half court, they're such a great defensive team. It's a great matchup. Usung Wei off the screen, knocks it down. Nice setup job off the timeout there for the Dreamers, setting up their number one shooter, who shoots it at about 52% from long distance. Usung Wei trying to bounce back from yesterday's game. Here's Kelvin Lim with a putback. And, you know, rebounding has to be a team effort here for the Dreamers. They saw that Aguilar was the one who challenged the shot of Alexander. Everybody else has to come in and get a rebound. Kenny Chen from the corner gets it through. That's a big bonus there for the Dreamers. Nice penetration at about 48%, but most of those coming from inside the paint. It's back to a nine-point lead. Wu falls down. Forte picks it up. He sends it to Kenny Chen. Too strong this time. Oh, but it's going to be last touch by the Formosa Dreamers. So Slingers basketball. Nice effort there for AJ Mandani saving that ball and causing Kenny Chen to be the one to touch it last. A minute and 47 remaining here in the first quarter. It is a nine-point lead by the visiting squad. A.J. Mandani, a free lane to the basket. Nice clear-up job there, clearing that the side of the floor, allowing that backdoor cut by A.J. Mandani. And an ill-advised shot by Luo Jin Shen on the other side. Forte gets the takeaway. Judy foul coming from Desmond O. Knew he did not have a chance against that spin move of Cameron Forte. But they're going to send Forte back to the line for two free throws. Cameron Forte, 33 points and 14 rebounds yesterday against Chong Sun Kung Fu. And so far, three out of three from Stripe. A better showing here as he was five out of it yesterday. Down to a nine-point game again. The x man gives it off to Kelvin Lim. Desmuno sends it to Mandani, who fires from the right wing too strong. Got a good rebound here for Cameron Forte. Now he's matched up against Xavier Alexander. He kicks it out. Kenny Chen takes it strong. Kenny Chen off the glass. That doesn't work. And a foul off the bump by Luo Jin Shen. Possibly preventing another transition basket. And Slingers, very consensual. Getting a lot of good shots here in the first quarter. 11 out of 16 from the field. Alexander. Denied by Forte. And Forte beating him up top. Kenny Chen now. Back to Forte. What a pass. Forte with a throw down. And that's the type of game that they can capitalize on. Good defensive stop resulting in transition baskets. And what a counter there. Silencing the crowd again by Desmono. Cross matchup. Wu was able to, was, was the one defending Alexander in the post. Nobody 
picked up Desmono up top. 10 point game, 10 seconds remaining here in the first. Last possession for Formosa. Luo Jin Shen off the crossover from the free throw line. Gets it back. Doesn't make the basket on the second try. Luo taking too many dribbles. The only guy touching that ball on that possession was Luo Jin Sheng. Did not try to capitalize on his bigs. So resulting in a missed shot and a rebound, defensive rebound by the Slingers. A similar start from yesterday's game. Singapore Slingers up big. In between that ball and the defender. So Forte also reaches eight points. Desmono against the taller and longer Chen Yu Han. They go to Chris Charles. Charles back to Mandani. Back to Charles here. Puts it on the floor. Chris Charles off the hook. A traveling violation. Good defense there by the Dreamers. Singapore used up almost the entire shot clock, but Aguilar was able to stay with Chris Charles. Chris Charles actually. Just unable to use it there. Chen Yuhan straight to the hoop. A wild shot put up by Chen. AJ drops it off. Kelvin Lim could not finish. Good challenge from Kenny Chen. Chen on the move. Wu Sung Wei fires. Too strong. That was well contested by Desmono. And you got your two big men, Ronnie Aguilar and Cameron Forte, in the paint in transition. So, but you settle for a three-point yeah. shot. Not the wisest decision from Wu Sung Wei. AJ Mandani gets the foul on the other end. And you love Mandani's aggressiveness, trying to attack the paint, whether it's against Luo Jin Shen, and now it's against Chen Yu Han. That's the second personal foul on Chen Yu Han. Mandani already with nine points, four out of five from the field. Perfect one out of one from the stripe. So AJ reaching his point average here in the season, and we're only in the first half. Mitchell Bokov enters for Desmono. And that is actually the leading scorer here for the Slingers. This is on the first though. Madani actually leads all scorers now with 11 points. AJ has shown brilliance several games this season. I think twice against San Miguel Ala Filipinas and one against Chong Son Kung Fu wherein he scored 20 plus points. Here's Alexander with a steal. Oh, loses the ball in transition. He got a little too excited when he saw one guy back in Kenny Chen defending against him. Lost the handle. Still an 11 point game. There's a double team on the ball screen. Chen Yuan. They find Aguilar down low. Aguilar, short to go, off the glass. And again, as long as they can keep pounding the ball inside, and Ronnie Aguilar, they've been successful playing basket. Well, that's going to be a backcourt violation as Alexander was not yet set inside the front court. Back to back turnovers here for Xavier Alexander. Singapore Slingers right now. With five turnovers. They go to Forte down low. Off the spin again. Forte with a finish. That time opting to spin to the baseline as he had previously been spinning to the middle. Cameron Forte, 10 points. Charles to Mandani. He has the hot hand, stolen away by Aguilar. Chen Yuhan on the move. And a foul on Kelvin Lim while defending Cameron Forte at the post. That's going to be just the first personal or first team foul, rather. Nice spin move there by Cameron Forte using that elbow to clip or to pin down Alexander as he spun to the baseline. And then he's going to get his first taste of the bench. And that cuts the lead down to seven points. Kenny Chen off the inbound. Alexander out that pass. Too strong for Kelvin Lim to catch. And Alexander has deliberately been trying to 
hit his teammates with that forward pass. Although they've committed about two turnovers trying that long pass on the break. Third turnover for Xavier in this contest. All coming here in the second quarter. They go to Forte again. This time he will come from the three-point line. Barrett takes it in. Denied by Charles. Aguilar gets it back and gets fouled with three seconds to shoot. But again, they keep pounding the ball inside, not settling for outside shots, and it's been paying dividends. Lead is down to seven for the Dreamers. Dreamers have 12 points in the paint. in terms of points in the paint. Tony Aguilar coming from... Having about 17 points and 12 rebounds for the Dreamers. 25 to 30, lead is down to five. Alexander goes baseline, one on one against Forte, and he loses the basketball. That's turnover there for Sylvia Alexander, turnover number four. Again, off the dribble. Make that nine turnovers now for the Singapore seniors here in the first half. Fu Sung Wei will get it back to Forte. He will bring the ball down against Xavier Alexander. Forte drops it off. Aguilar with a jam and a foul. And again, another basket inside the paint coming off that post up. From they drew the double from Chris. But for the flush. And the crowd coming alive here in Changwa County Stadium. Here's that jam again. What a dish for Forte to Ronnie Aguilar. So now Coach Neil Beng Shang sends back another big man in Russell Lowe. Most likely he will be the one to pick up Cameron Forte so that the double team can come from either Xavier Alexander or Chris Charles. Again, a reminder, Singapore seniors are a bit thin. The front line, at least today's game without Delvis Go. In the lineup, Xavier Alexander fouled on the drive by Chen Yu Han. Nice back cut there from Alexander. They may be thin in terms of bench depth, but uh, in terms of actual height, they're still the bigger team once you send in their... Because even Ang Han Bin is tall for a, for a wingman. Ang stands about 6'4". And with this lineup of the Dreamers, Cameron Forte plays the four spot. You have Chen Yu Han, Charles Barrett, and Wu Song Wei as their guards. For Russell Lowe with a clear mismatch against Charles Barrett. If they would go to low, oh, but nice play off the inbound. Charles just unable to get a handle off the basketball. Aguilar towers for that rebound. Chen Yuan on the move. He will go to Wu Sung Wei. Forte, ball stolen away. Careless pass there coming from Wu. Chris Charles running on the break. Charles denied by Ronnie Aguilar. And Ronnie Aguilar with some words to say to a former defensive player of the year. What a block and effort there for Ronnie Aguilar. The Slingers have been stuck at 30 points for more than two minutes now. Let's see if they could break the dry spell here. They go to Russell Lowe, foul on the floor. They say it's on the push by Kenny Chen. The moment you put two hands on a player who's trying to post up, that's almost an automatic call by the referees. And Coach Xiao Cheng not liking the call. On fires away. In and out. And last touch on Ronnie Aguilar. So Singapore Slingers will the have... The referees are going to confer. Let's see if they're going to reverse the call. 
All right, so they reverse the call. It's going to be Dreamers basketball. Sideline referee. Looks like he had the better angle. Lead is down to three. Start that time. Chris so Charles, only his second basket off the game with four rebounds. There's a double team again. And Shen Yuhan really having difficulty there. Turns the ball over, Chris Charles. Back to back hits for Chris Charles. And that time we're off another turnover. You know, the Dreamers have to expect that double team once they use the screen. So somebody has to come out and be the release pass. And they can attack that because that's automatically a three against two or a four on three situation. And the Singapore Slingers using a four to nothing run to create the seven point advantage. Timeout on the floor, back after this. zone, which was effective for a stretch against the Chong Son Kung Fu yesterday. And Russell Lowe has been effective so far here in the first half, seven points. And he gives them the nine-point lead. Chen Yuhan goes to Forte. Backing down on Xavier Alexander. Forte crowded inside by three red shirts. Russell Lowe puts it on the floor. Does not finish. Charles, ball stolen away, picked up by Kenny Chen. Great job there by Ronnie Aguilar getting back in transition. Barrett, Chen Yuhan, they go to Forte again, this time against Charles. Forte denied, easy block there by Chris Charles. Aung Han Bin, left wide open from the corner, short. Long rebound goes to the X-Man, Alexander. Russell Lowe, all the way to the hoop. No help defense there on that penetration from Russell Lowe. And before you know it, a three-point deficit now back up. 11 points. Russell Lowe, perfect from the field. Three out of three. This is for his ninth point of the game. 11-point lead for Singapore Slingers. Two and 59 remaining here in the first half. And the Singapore Singers has answered the run made by the Formosa Dreamers. Eight to nothing now for the Singapore Singers to take the 11 point lead. And they're doing it on defense. Chris Charles has done a great job helping out on the primary defender of Cameron Forte. 
Juma is now with 10 turnovers compared to the nine of the slingers. So you see Russell now not picking up Cameron Forte. Different matchup here, Forte. And now the foul is against Russell Lowe on the push. But you notice the other four members of the Singapore Slingers ready to collapse in the paint once Forte. So Cameron Forte back to the free throw line where he is perfect four out of four so far. And if you're coach Si Hao Cheng, what a way to jinx it, right? <laughs> you gotta put shooters around Cameron Forte if they continue the crowd on him in the paint. Back-to-back -back misses there for Forte. Two and 40 remaining. Still an 11-point lead. Chris Charles drops it off. Russell Lowe. Alexander. Back to Lowe. Cross-court to Desmono. Back to Chris Charles. Who cannot get the finish. Kenny Chan. On the crossover, what a drop off there. Forte off the window. Cameron Forte asking for the foul, but he was the one who initi initiated the contact. Alexander cannot counter Kenny Chen. And that's going to be a technical foul. It's going to be on coach Neo Beng Xiang. I think it was because he was outside the coach's box. So a free throw coming here for the Formosa Dreamers. And they will retain possession. Technical was called by our Malaysian referee. Who was right in front of coach Neo Beng Chang. So a chance for the Dreamers to trim this deficit even further. So far, it's been a 12 to 11 quarter in favor of the Formosa Dreamers. And Yang Tian Miao knocks down the technical free throw. And Ronnie Aguilar will head back to the free throw line. It's going to be against AJ Mandani, Kelvin Lim. Aguilar so far, three out of five. Singapore singers able to figure out how to stop that in the latter part of this quarter. The 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Russell Lowe, Despino, sticky defense by Yang Tian Yo. Oh, with a spin. Oh, they get the basket. But a foul, a whistle against Yang Tian Yo. And that's just a veteran move there by, by the team captain, Desmono saw the clear out as Chris Charles was on the elbow, just patiently dribbled his way into the paint, spun against Yang Tianyo and drew the foul. No help coming from the Dreamers. And the Dreamers have been on an in penalty situation since the four minute mark of the second quarter. The captain Desmono knocks down the first free throw. Oh, with four points in the contest. Two out of two there. I don't know, the Singapore Slingers will really not overwhelm you with offense like uh, Hong Kong or Chong Son Kung Fu, but if they will force you to make mistakes and they play high percentage basketball and they will score off of your mistakes. Just like that, they took control and taken control of the scoring here in the second, 17 to 16 as Forte misses the last shot of the first half. So after 20 minutes of play, Singapore Singers still with a double-digit advantage. 44-33 at the half. And leading the way for them is AJ Mandani. The PBA veteran with 14 points in the first half with one rebound and two assists. Russell Lowe following him with nine points and two rebounds on the other side. You have Forte and Aguilar with uh, four or 12 points apiece for the home squad for most of Dreamers playing in their home finale here.
in Changhua County Stadium. Here's a. 好，中场的休息时间，我们为你访问到徐浩成教练。那教练其实。我们在第一节到目前看起来，这个球队发生一个最重要的状况，就是控球每一个换上来的所谓的防守的意识，跟所谓的失误比例太高。你自己身为控球，你要怎么去处理这个球队在下半场控球这一块？呃，第一个就是呃，在进攻上面，他们的呃，当我们在做 PK 的时候，他们的中锋也是害羞出来给我们呃后卫一个很大的压力。所以在进攻这一圈，我希望我们的球员们能够勇于去突破他们的大个子。那在防守这一块，呃，我们后卫原本两个人就是呃，基本上是属于 under size 的一个后卫，那所以我们希望他从全场开始都给对方造成不断的压迫，所以呃，提醒呃下半场中场进去的时候，我们希望要提醒球员能够呃，在下半场的时候能够贯彻到这一点。对，其实我们观察到上半场教练做了很多人员的快速的调换啊，那针对这一点，教练有什么样的想法？呃，第一个我们就希望说，呃、我们的球员每一个人都能都能打。再来就是说，我们也希望能够用全场压迫的方式，所以在体力消耗上面也会比较大。那我们也希望用快速轮转的方式，让每个球员都能获得获得充分的休息。好，谢谢许教练。那休息一下，我们进入中场的讲评。Moments away from the start of this second half, this is your ASEAN Basketball League. Game between the Formosa Dreamers and the Singapore Slingers. And going into the second half, the visiting squad up by 11 points, 44 to 33. But this is a... Forte still asking for a foul from the referees. Mandani from mid-range, still hot here in the second half. Wow, Mandani unconscious right now. Just outplaying Luo Jin Shen, making mincemeat out of his defense. 18 points for AJ Mandani. Forte goes to Chen Yuhan, who fires from the baseline. And goes out of bounds. If you're the Dreamers, they're doubling the point guard on that ball screen. I'd like to see them try to attack right away. Not allow Chris Charles to be able to recover because he's the one doubling the ball handler. This was the move earlier by Cameron Forte over two defenders. 15 point advantage. 
Chris Charles. Back to Xavier. Alexander from the free throw line. Knocks it down. Dreamers having a hard time defending that ball screen. And Slinger's also isolating those two guys on one side of the floor. That is the only the eighth point of Xavier Alexander. Yang Chen Yo drives. Kicks it out to Wu. Wu Song Wei stops. Six seconds to shoot for the white shirts. Yang takes it in. Between the legs to Aguilar, in and out. Nowhere to go once again on that possession for the Dreamers, using up a lot of clock. And Yang Chen Yo getting the ball back for the Dreamers. Yang waits for his teammates. He will reset here. Forte, again off the spin. Double team now. Forte kicks it out. Eight seconds. Yang to Chen Yu Han. Moves closer, bumps into Ong Han Bin in a traveling violation on Chen. How about that defense of the Singapore Slingers? Just very disciplined, staying on the ground, not biting on fakes, not trying to reach in, just staying in front of their man. That's good, solid half court defense. And that defense by the Slingers has forced 12 turnovers off the Formosa Dreamers, who only had five all game long yesterday against Chung Sun Kung Fu. Forte on the move now. Shen Yuhan from the corner. Knocks it down. What a few times that they've been, they've been successful with that, with that penetration and kick out by Cameron Forte. Shen Yuhan, his first basket in five tries this afternoon. Alexander on a mismatch against Chen Yuhan. Xavier spins, meets Forte on the help, but Chen Fu is committing the personal foul. Chen Yuhan just getting left out on an island there against Xavier Alexander. There's the grab. That's a veteran move as well from Xavier Alexander, clipping the arm of Chen Yuhan. So Chen will go to the bench. Kenny Chen checks back in. Seconds to work with for the white shirts. And A.J. Mandani has been aggressive on both ends off the floor. Three steals to go along with 22 points. Kenny Chen, Wu Sung Wei, the fake. The mid-range shot is in. Nothing but net for Wu. But the baskets of Wu Sung Wei have been few and far between. Only his fifth point in 17 minutes of play. We go to the other side. Chris Charles. Doesn't get the basket. Here comes Formosa. Forte on the run. Drops it off. Tie with a fit. Does not get the basket. And again, Chris Charles doing a great job getting back in transition. Able to challenge Chai's basket. Under three remaining here. Foul called on Formosa. And that will be against Chai. I was trying to prevent Chris Charles from getting post position. Third team foul here for the Formosa Dreamers, who are down by 20 points. Getting outscored in the second half, 15 to six. By the Singapore Slingers. Lim. Kelvin dribbles it down. Russell Lowe, off the spin, back out to Kelvin Lim. Nowhere to go, a turnover for the Slingers. That's heads up defense there coming from Chai. He and Forte did a good, great job recovering. That is turnover number 13 for Singapore. Kenny Chen who will bring the ball down now. Chen, a couple of crossovers there. The ball will go back to Singapore. And a wasted possession there for the Dreamers after making an excellent stop on their end. And the full court pressure here for the white shirts. They need to force Singapore to hit the winners. 12 turnovers right now for the red shirts. Yes, Bruno catches the ball. 
see if they can get it across. Russell low. They are through. They go to Charles. Ball tapped away. Stolen by the Dreamers. Forte on the move. Drives against Russell Lowe. Meets Charles. Does not make the shot. Tells him with the rebound. Low on the move. Low, who has been quiet here in the third. In and out. Cameron Forte now. Coast to coast. Forte, the hesitation. Here he is on the second try. Bucket finally for Forte. Cameron Forte just so persistent with that left hand. Finally able to buy a basket. Second basket in the second half for Cameron Forte. 16 points by Charles with a quick answer for the Slingers. That's just uh, too easy there for Chris Charles. Simple turn to the middle and elevating above Chai. Make that 14 and 11 now for Sir Charles. So it's going to be Formosa basketball here. It's going to be a baseline inbound as Yan went for the pass instead of going up for the basket. Stifling defense here by the Singapore Stingers, Marco, only allowing 41 points. They're actually in or number one in the league, only allowing 80.2 points per game. That's correct, and they only allow 42 percent on the field, but. Wu Sung Wei hits another one. Eight points in the game right now for Wu. Off the inbound as well. Let's see if that basket can actually get them going here in the second half. Mantani floater is no good. Rebounded by Charles. Charles off the left hand. Ball tap out of bounds. Last touch. On Chris Charles and the Dreamers will have possession. And they call it a long two for Wu Sung Wei. So that's seven points for Wu Sung Wei. Yang Tian Yo escapes. Yang with a bucket and a foul. Finally successful in looting that double team on that ball screen. And then a nice pass fake. And then going up hard for the finish. What a ball fake there. Again, it's been there all season long for Yang Tianyo. Gets the bucket there and a chance for a three-point play. That was a solid screen set up there by Chai. Completely erasing AJ Mandani. So it is a 15-point game. 26 seconds remaining. Russell Lowe gets the basket to go. Quick answer there for the Slingers. Chance for a last attempt. It's a lot of time. Ten seconds left on the clock. But no, but no need to rush here for the Formosa Dreamers. They send it out. Kenny Chen knocks it down. Big basket. Lead is down to 14. Still very manageable with a one quarter to go. And after 30 minutes of play, here in Changwa County Stadium, the Formosa Dreamers finishing strong in the third, cutting the lead down to 14. That was the last basket by Kenji Chen as the shot clock was winding down 63-49 going into the fourth. European Basketball League will be back after this. Coverage here in your ASEAN Basketball League, season number eight. And entering the fourth quarter of the home finale for the Formosa Dreamers. They are down by 14 big points, 63-49. Martin Javier with Marco Benitez working on this game. And Marco for the Dreamers. How do they stay alive and possibly, you know, get a victory over the visiting squad? 
Had a good start to the fourth quarter for the Dreamers. Turnover by Yang Tian Yo. And this is going to be a foul on Chai against Chris Charles trying to post up. 63-49. Stingers outscoring the Dreamers 19 to 16 in that third quarter. And another foul here called on Yang Tian Yo. So two quick fouls with uh, not even 30 seconds gone in our fourth and deciding quarter. And another one coming from Lu Sun Wei. Dreamers have to keep their head in the game here. They're only down by 14 points. Let's play smarter. Three quick fouls. Two away from penalty situation. We have nine and a half minutes to play. Um, off the inbound comes straight away. No good. Offensive rebound by the Slingers. And seventh off the ball game for them. Charles looking on Chai, and that's an easy bucket for Chris Charles. Defense coming here for, for Chai. Easy two points for Chris Charles. Dreamers need a bucket here. Young Tian Yo. Guarded by Alexander. Forte double team at the corner. Forte kicks it out. Kenny Jan, top of the key, no good. Ball top to Alexander. Just a tough possession there for the Dreamers. Great defense being played by the Slingers. Double teaming Calvin Forte and closing out those kickout passes. Chris Charles now. They swing it around. They go to Mandani. Has the strength and height advantage over Yang Tianyo and scores on the step back. And very methodically attacking the best matches are the Singapore Slingers. AJ Mandani, Marco, 26 points now for Singapore. And Chris Charles just racing that reverse handed layup by Yang Tianyo. Chris Charles with four rejections in this game as Mandani misses the three-point shot. 4-0 start right now for the Singapore Slingers. Here's that block once again. Charles already anticipating where Yang was going to go. Two-time CN Basketball League defensive player of the year, Chris Charles. Eighteen point game. One three one zone now being shown by the red shirts. Yang Chen Yo will set the table for Formosa. They go to Forte. He goes to the middle. Forte with a miss and an awkward looking shot. First time Coach Neo shows us this type of defense this afternoon. And the game's a different look. Get the camera on now against Russell Lowe. Easy blow by and the bucket there for Forte. Always so hard to defend going to his left. This camera on Forte. What a move there. Able to flip it up high off the glass while falling down. 18 points today for Cameron Forte to go along with 10 rebounds. And call the foul on Russell Lowe. Although Mandani tried to reach in. Five assists as well for Cameron Forte. Now it's 52-67. pressure once again. Aguilar back in the game now, matched up against Charles. Here's Charles. No good. Russell Lowe with the rebound. The Slingers have also won those 50-50 balls. Ball tapped away again from behind. Yang Tian Yeo goes to the corner. Wu Sun Wei. Bang! Quick timeout here for Coach Neil Bing Shang. He senses a Wu Sun Wei explosion. 
points. 10 points right now for the gunner from Formosa. It is chopped to 12 points, 67-55. Timeout on the floor. Your ABL will be back after this. Five points. How about the Formosa Dreamers? This is the closest they have been in this contest since the start of the third quarter because we started the second half with them down by 11 points, 44-33. And it's been chopped off to 12-55-67 with a lot of time remaining here in the fourth. And that's correct. And uh, Dreamers have a chance to make a legitimate run here. They just have to play composed and play smart basketball. Oh, what a rejection with there. The follow-up. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Aguilar with a nice rejection. Coming from Yang Tian Yo, opening up another transition play for the Singapore Slingers. Here, this was the rejection by Ronnie Aguilar. All ball on. Under seven remaining here. Possession back to the Singapore Slingers. Chris Charles. Could not get the alley -oop jam or alley -oop jam to go. Nice attempt though by the Slingers. Charles not able to get a handle. Chance for the Dreamers once again to cut into this deficit. Luo Jin Shen inserted now for Yang Tian Yo. Luo kicks it out. Wu Sung Wei, the fake. The three point shot. No good. Aguilar, offensive rebound and a put back slam. Plus the foul. That's the type of effort you need from Ronnie Aguilar on a nightly basis. If you want to contend here in the ABL, fighting off. Chris Charles on that offensive rebound and that left-handed slam. Ronnie Aguilar with a chance for a three-point play. Aguilar now with 14 points. Drops in the free throw. So the Formosa Dreamers knocking on the door down by 11 points. Alexander loses the basketball. Big turnover for the Slingers. Very uncharacteristic of the Slingers rushing into their possessions. That is turnover number five, or make that number six. Today for Xavier Alexander. Alexander with seven, just with seven points, very unusual for him. Defense has keyed in on Alexander to go with six rebounds, two assists. Well, Formosa almost turning the ball over there, but they will recover. That is going to be an eight-second violation. Just a frustrating afternoon for the Dreamers. Got the stop on one end, commits an eight-second violation. Failed and missed opportunity again to chop the lead down to single digits. Learning process continues here with the white shirts. They go to Xavier here. Alexander. 
sends it out. Ang Han Bin. No get on the three. Aguilar skying for the rebound. Kenny Chen quickly to the other side. Goes to Forte. Musa Wei fires from the corner. No good. Macaro Forte opting for that long three point shot instead of taking it strong to the basket. Ang Han Bin. Back to back misses from the outside, but they get the ball back here in a fresh 14. Another offensive rebound for Russell Lowe. Chris Charles, Ang Han Bin has the mismatch against Luo Jin Shen. Charles off the mark. Luo. Formosa on the move. They go to Aguilar. Double team inside. Aguilar short on the hook. Han Bin. Wisely waits for his teammates. He goes to Xavier. Slayers with an 11 point lead with 5 and 12 remaining. Xavier again with 4 seconds to shoot. They go to the corner. Ang Han Bin fires. Off to the side. That's going to be a shot clock violation there. The only thing good on that possession was they were able to milk the entire shot clock. AJ Mandani making his way back. Now with a career high, 26 points. Stats courtesy of uh, TK, the titan of stats in the ABL. Yang Xianyo also back in for Luo Jin Shen. Forte asking for the ball screen way up top. Cameron Forte blows by Chris Charles. And that's the fifth rejection for Charles. Forte could not get the basket. But two free throws coming here for Cameron Dakota Forte. Uh, that's only the second personal foul on Chris Charles. So how? Only the second personal foul with 4.44 left in the game. A chance for Forte to cut this lead down to single digits. Sorry, miss there for Forte, who is now five out of eight from the stripe. Matching his output yesterday against Chong Sun Kung Fu. Forte, one out of two. So a 10 point game with under five remaining. Still a lot of time here for the Dreamers. AJ Mandani back on the floor again. The high point man for Singapore. Another poor foul here from Yang Tian Yo. And that puts the Formosa Dreamers in penalty situation. Right in front of our referee shoves Desmono. Now sending Desmono to the free throw line. And the consequences of getting the three quick fouls. And the 30 seconds in. In the fourth quarter right. will now be manifesting for the Formosa Dreamers. As Desmono drops in two free throws. Desmono, very reliable free throw shooter here. Dreamers are down by 12, only scoring 59 points today. Has to be a holding foul on AJ Mandani. So the Slingers now, one foul away from penalty. Little miscommunication on offense there as Forte was expecting a ball screen from Wu Sung Wei to get the switch. Here's Forte, just leaves it off to Mandani. And AJ Mandani. You gotta communicate on offense. If you're the Dreamers, that's another unforced error for the white shirts leading to another pair of transition points for Singapore. Timeout on the floor. This was the last basket by AJ Mandani. They're up by 14 points. Catch it. Oh. Yo, 
ラリースタイル。两人，够爱手。如果他换掉了，你就直接抛出来给他，好吗？够Back inside Changwa County Stadium, and the lead is up to 14 points again. The Singapore Singers are applying full court pressure with over four remaining here. Now a contest. Yang Chen Yeo calmly gets it through. Cameron Forte working on low. Yang using that Aguilar screen. Yang Chen Yeo. That's going to be a double dribble. Turnover once again after that timeout. Yang Tianyo with yet another turnover here for the Formosa Dreamers. And you have to remember Yang Tianyo, one of the youngest players on the floor. Only 24. Is to pour it in here in the fourth. Mathematically, it's still possible, but they're going to need to make stops and score quick baskets. Talking about the Dreamers. Three minutes remaining, and we have a 13-point game. Russell Lowe, 11 points in the contest, make that 13. And how big has Russell Lowe been that time? He's using that right-handed hook against Cameron Forte. Stepping up for Delvin Go this afternoon. Forte off the spin, does not finish with the offhand. 77-62, Singapore Slingers in a much comfortable distance here to get the W. And that will be against Cameron Forte. Easy call to make by the referees, reach in from behind. The wrestler now will go to the stripe, where he is three out of four today. The defense of the Singapore Slingers limiting the Dreamers to only 62 points. 18 below to their average allowed points per game. And that has been their calling card. Defense, that is what made, has made this franchise successful the past few years here in the ASEAN Basketball League. This is Russell Lowe. 13 points in the ball game to go along with five rebounds. Alexander getting a big rebound for the Slingers. And it's closeout time for Singapore, approaching the last two minutes of this game. Alexander, what a shot, up and under move. Alexander with nine points. Subpar outing for him scoring wise, but it has not been needed as Russell Lowe has stepped up big for the Slingers and Mandani with a career high 28 points. Chen Yuhan fires from the corner, no good. And it looks like they're going to get Russell Lowe. Oh, yeah, all. Personal, yeah. yep. Loose ball foul, boxing out against Ronnie Aguilar. Third personal foul on Russell Lowe, who's been having a splendid afternoon, 13 points. Five out of seven shooting and stepping up big time for the absent Delvin Go. And this is Kenny Chen getting iced on that left quad. Looks like he got into contact with Xavier Alexander on a previous possession. And Kenny Chen along with two rebounds and one assist. One and 40 remaining, lead is down to 15. Alexander working on Chen Yuhan. Alexander gets to the paint, and he gets the bucket on the second try. Finally breaking into double digits, this Saver Alexander. 
With a minute and a half remaining, Marco, 17 point lead by the Singapore Singers. It looks like for most the dreamers are gonna. And again, they tried to be competitive, especially here in the fourth quarter, but several costly mistakes just cost them their momentum. And they've had a lot of close games here as well. Just unable to close out as Wu Sung Wei. 11 points here in the fourth period. Unfortunately, it's going to be too little too late here for Wu Sung Wei as Coach Suhao Chen has waved the white flag, subbing out Cameron Forte and Ronnie Aguilar. Coach Neo has also subbed out Chris Charles. Alexander working on Chen Yuhan. Now, before we finish this basketball game, Marco, under a minute remaining, we gotta thank the fans first. Uh, the Dreamers, who have been there for the team all season long, despite the struggles in their inaugural season, mm -hmm. as Russell Lowe scores his 15th point off the game. Now, we'd also like to thank uh, Blackie Chen, the team owner yes. of the foremost of Dreamers, who, have, who has been such a gracious host to us throughout our coverage is here in Taiwan. And this Formosa Dreamers crowd has been one of the most passionate and most supportive despite the record this season. 1 and 18 after this impending loss. And Sportsman Light foul called this late against AJ Mandani. Because he did not make a play on the ball, AJ Mandani just committing that that foul just to get Juni Lim into the game with 26 seconds remaining. So Yang Tianyao will take the two free throws and the Dreamers will have possession 26 seconds remaining in the basketball game. And for the Singapore Singers, Marco, a big bounce back game for them. Mm -hmm. That gives them a more comfortable cushion in our team standings. A game, yeah, a game and a half ahead now of the Saigon Heat. They're going to move up to 11 and 8. The Saigon Heat will be playing the Westport's Malaysia Dragons, who are very dangerous with the addition of Chris Eversley and Brian Davis. And AJ Mandani, another bucket there. He will reach 30 points, a career high for AJ Mandani. First 30 point game this season for AJ Mandani, and they get the steal here. Kevin Lim could not throw it down as time will expire in Changwa County Stadium. The home finale goes to the Singapore Slingers 87 69 victory on the road. Uh, just a great job by the Singapore Slingers all around performances. Of course, special mention to Russell Lowe, who ties his career high with 17 points. Thank you to our title of stats, TK, for that bit of information. AJ Mandani also with a career high 30 points. So two career highs for the Singapore Slingers here. Russell Lowe with 17, AJ Mandani with 30 big markers to lead away for the Singapore Slingers. The World Imports also clicked for Singapore, Chris Charles with 18 points, although he was only nine out of 20 from the field. He did have 17 rebounds and five rejections. And Xavier Alexander, who pretty much struggled offensively all throughout the game, only 11 points for him with 10 rebounds and three assists and six turnovers for the X-Man. But a victory for the Singapore Slingers, their 11th of the season. They go up to 11 and 8, and they have one more game in the elimination round against the Saigon Heat to finally determine our final playoff picture here in season number 8. With the Formosa Dreamers, this is their last home game of the season. And they go down 0-10 in Changba County Stadium. But, you know, a bright spot for them, Marco. This is a full year of experience mm -hmm. in the ASEAN Basketball League. A 
against international competition. So nowhere to go but up for this team, especially for the young guys of the Formosa Dreamers. And definitely going to be a team to watch out for next season as they become more competitive. They, they load up on some new talent and the local talent that they have right now gaining a lot of experience in this eighth season of the ASEAN Basketball League. All right, our final score again, Singapore Slingers 87, Formosa Dreamers 69. That concludes our back-to-back -back games here in Changhua County Stadium, the last one of the season here in Taiwan. It has been a pleasure commentating here. And on the other side, their final game time Chicago 這次是原本是從板凳出發然後打到後來是因為在外線有發揮所以逐漸有找到自己的角色那因為打到後面幾場其實大家都知道我是會投籃的所以我現在要加強到是一位跳或是動位然後假動作然後再為下一季做準備這
结束时候，我想我们都会啊、呃、好好再重新检讨球队的方向。那啊、呃，今天主场的结束，很快过了一个夏天，我们的主场在啊、呃、秋天、冬天很快又会再来，所以啊、呃、这半年我们会好好准备。那再呈现给各位梦想家二点零啊，谢谢。谢谢，谢谢，抱歉，抱歉，抱歉，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢周哥同志，谢谢。我们先。